it's coming up to 9.30 right now. As you can see, I'm on a bus heading out west to Cheltenham, charging from Spa, actually. It's going to take about 3 hours and 15 minutes to get there. So the main aim for going here today is to visit where Brian J Jones of the Rolling Stones is where he lived and where he's buried. Because uh, he was actually, he died a bit outside of London, the home that A.A. A. Mayan, Mayan, who created Winnie the Pooh, and just drowned that pool back in 69, age 27. It's going to be an interesting vlog today, so let's keep on this bus rolling. I have just arrived in Cheltenham at 12.20, a bit early, I'm supposed to get here at 12.25. Right now, just sitting on a local bus, that should take me out to the cemetery, to where Brian Jones is buried. So here we are, Cheltenham Cemetery and Crematorium. Uh, I love the old lady here, I said I'm going to go through these gates, and another set of gates. And uh, it should be a big white headstone, very popular. It should have a lot of flowers. You see, normally on a rainy day, I wouldn't go out to Putney Vale Cemetery and visit Sandy Denny. I just wouldn't. I'd stay at home, do some writing, do a lot of reading and all. But then I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to pre book this bus ticket because I got three days off work and I'm going to go back to work tomorrow and I'm going to go to Norway next week. And this is pretty much be the only time I'm probably going to be visiting Brian Jones' grave, I guess. According online, Brian Jones is buried in Plot V. Plot V. So, uh... I should start looking for lettered plots. Because that's how most cemeteries in this country are run by letters, you know. But, um... Shouldn't take very long. I mean, normally, as I've always said, the, a rock star's grave has the most flowers and the most adoration. Just like with um, Phil Lingant in Ireland. So here I am after a short walk from the back entrance, or oh, well, front entrance, all the way around here to the side, past this big tree. And we get to a, a give way sign. We have the grave of Ryan Jones, born 28th of February 1942. Honestly, it's a 28th of February is it my niece's birthday back in Oz. Died 3rd of July 1969 in Hartfield, Sussex. Now what I've read was in, when he was living in Halford, Sussex, he was actually living at the property that was owned by A.A. Mylon, or A.A. Uh, Mine, or I don't know how you say his name, but he, he was a guy who wrote Winnie the Pooh. And when Brian had died, they buried him 10 feet down in a seal-proof casket. Because I didn't want like grave robbers digging up his grave, and I think I'm pretty sure they would have put some cement. But so I would have thought that they would have they dug it ten feet under, so they could have given space if they wanted to bury his parents who were buried somewhere else nearby. Um, Brian Jones is best remembered for being the guitarist in the Rolling Stones, but he had a bit of trouble in the late '60s, getting arrested twice uh, for possession of drugs and all. And so that like uh, that, that stopped his chances of performing in America with, with the work permit. Like, at his here in '69, only the drummer, uh, I think it's like Charlie and Ronnie Wood, uh, uh, came to the, f the funeral because you see Mick Jagger and his girlfriend um, at the time, I think it was like Marianne Faithful, or some other one. They were in Australia filming the movie about Ned Kelly. So the, the producer of the film said, no, you cannot take time off to go back to England to farewell Brian Jones. Yeah. So here is a legend of rock and roll music. Forever Park Club 27 and all. And his music like li lives on. I'm not much of a Rolling Stones fan, but if you ask me, 
Every heavy metal band that has walked the path since the 60s has literally been influenced by this guy and the Rolling Stones. And uh, at the grave we've got the Rolling Stones. Um, we've got a few nice little flowers. This portrait right here of, oh, oh, oh whoops, whoops. No offense, but yeah, it's a nice photograph of Brian. So it should be up right next to the grindstone. A couple of Christmas ornaments, and yeah, so a few typical candle holders and stuff. Yes. So, I mean, the, the stones, even though it's been here for 50 years, it hasn't really faded away. Oh, it's been in a good condition, I guess. So on the top of it, right next to the grave of Brian Jones, we have a memorial plaque. It says, dedicated to memory of Brian Jones, founder of the Rolling Stones, from the members of Rolling Stones. Now, I've got the Brian Jones Memorial Diary, it's a bunch of events. Uh, from the events signed, Ruby Tuesday, Lady Jane, next question, I want to be on that. A little bit of Brewster, like it signs. And it's a bunch of uh, different, f oh, it's going to be, it's a diary, it's a diary of like this year. So today, we have Tuesday the 12th, so I'm going to put my name. So I'm going to be on Mark, to Brian Jones, you are missed 50 years on. Rock on with Neil Pert, Martin Anthony, London, New York. I'm going to like, might as well put the bookmark to here. And uh, I'll put this back in the box, like so. Water damage because this is England. And here we are, we're putting the Brian Jones Memorial Diary of 2020 back at the foot of his grave. Rest in peace, Brian Jones. Keep on rocking up there, sky high. I just noticed the back of Brian Jones' grave, somebody's left him an EPA beer and there's been a whole bunch of different vases and some paperwork and all. So uh, it's quite good people are still bringing beers to Brian Jones 50 years on after he died. Well anyway Brian, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thanks for inspiring a lot of guitarists around the world in the last 60 years. Your legacy will always live on and your star still shines brightly. Rest in peace. Rock on with the angels up there. So it's very impressive how the Rolling Stones were able to stay together as a band after the passing of Ryan Jones. I mean, it's always been like, you know, Charlie Watt, Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and um, bassist. But Ronnie Wood, yes, Ronnie Wood, yes. When you come to think about it, if all four of those guys are still around in 2022, then that would be their, like, we call it 60th anniversary? The good old 60th anniversary tour. But, um, anyway, Mick Jagger has just been recovering from heart surgery all months ago and stuff. And uh, I guess all the other Rolling Stones uh, guys are getting on like, with age and stuff. Um, but another thing that I is like like a separate group and stuff. So recently, the small faces have been recently inducted to the Rockwell Hall of Fame years after the Stones have been inducted. So anyway, I'm going to end the vlog now. As we're waiting for these cars to come by. Over that metalhead, over and out.